Returning to the coin Surrey's channel is a pleasure. Is the tale around XRP really evolving? Is nobody paying attention to what's being built? Is there a huge rally that they might miss? Personally, I think, yes. Why? I'll tell you in this video. Most importantly, the team has updated us on the price movement and the reasons why people are expecting they will lose a coin, both of which are vital. Only those without XRP holdings would suffer, in my opinion. To understand what's going on, let's look at the year example. At 63% now, in the last day, our volume dropped by almost 18% and the price dropped to 61 cents. Despite the massive market drop, there are still 1.8 billion. What does the yearly price action have to do with anything? You may argue, but XRP has remained rather stable all night long. This, then, is XRP at its core. As I see it, supposedly, the loser coin myth is what leads others to believe it. Actually, it has been involved in a legal battle with the SEC, and it has won major and historic victories on that topic. But there are still certain problems that need fixing and an ominous cloud hanging over us. I will inform you about those significant debts pertaining to the clouds in a moment. But given what's happening now, it's the only cryptocurrency standing up to the SEC, defending decentralization, cryptocurrency principles, and the world's potential advantages from these trends. It is critically important that it will not be trampled regardless of whether the SEC disagrees with its conduct. Remember that the SEC's opening brief pertaining to remedies is due on April 22nd, and that March 22nd is also a pivotal date. We deal with the opponents here at Ripple. Mess 6. Last but not least, your principal is the SEC filing. The next step will be to take the matter to court, where we can, with any luck, reach a settlement. From my vantage point, this might trigger the bull run and the yet to be realized run on XRP. No little amount of behind the scenes effort has gone into establishing genuine relationships with key figures in the financial industry so that they can confidently claim to be the go to platform for all things related to blockchain technology, including CBDCs and international money transfers. We are even aware that the president or CEO, Monica Lang, has been speaking at banking summits namely the CNBC Tech Check, to discuss the changes that have occurred since last year's SDB banking crisis, the ways in which blockchain and cryptocurrency have the ability to greatly improve partnerships with traditional institutions, and the accessibility of financial services. Listen, you would be mistaken if you assumed that she just showed in and took care of everything on her own. Her presence at a banking summit in the role of a cryptocurrency project ought to demonstrate a few basic ideas. At the banking symposium where we are presently located, President Monica has spent much time outlining blockchain technology and XRP. Among the numerous areas in which we have worked together are Medical Opal, Saudi Arabian Banking, Hong Kong, and the real estate market. It then becomes anybody's guess as to what nefarious activities happened behind the scenes. The question that needs answering is, why exactly is it called the loser coin? This outstanding essay on ZY Crypto ultimately backs up Mr. Huber's pessimistic perspective, which states that the XRP price is vulnerable and that there is no opportune moment to buy. Among other things, XRP's solid foundation makes it an excellent digital asset for domestic and international payments. Some of the more tech-savvy people are probably going to say something about the amounts of transactions per second in reaction to this tweet by Kieran Kelly in which he likens it to Mr. Who, to fully get how amazing that is on XRP, you must be familiar with XRPL. No, the meme coin tail is not going to be it. No nefarious cryptocurrency launches or community token development will ever occur on XRPL. Lottery number two is at play here. Financial institutions and banks are its primary users. Crypto will be utilized by banks and other financial organizations, but XLXLM, that one may be different if you're into going to the movies. Just let me know in the comments. We are not in the know about XRP. Though, the SEC versus Ripple and its potential appearance are the deciding factors in the end. There are a lot of people watching from the sidelines. Keep in mind that the SEC has forecasted a huge market correction and a sharp drop in XRP's price. However, 
There is a faction within the XRP community that is certain the cryptocurrency will maintain its recent ascent and, more importantly, witness a surge in interest from financial institutions looking to get in on the action. I get the impression that there is a cork between the banks and the SEC right now. We are almost ready to pop the cork. Additionally, I believe a significant change is imminent for XRP. In addition to the more generalized 6,186 price, the more specific 200-day simple moving average and 50-day exponential moving average were two key support levels that it did in fact fall and retest before making a fairly strong recovery. Now it's easy to see the increases that come with XRP news and good sentiment. The MACD has become positive recently, even though it is aware of the market's imminent volume flood. Right now, RSI is perhaps a little oversold. Thus, this may be an opportunity for us to witness a push. Sure, escrow is all the rage these days. I am aware that they were able to sell over 240 million XRP. The fact that they generated $1.8 billion in volume is still promising, even though the price will increase in due time. As soon as the SEC case starts to reduce, I will be ready. I continue to hold on to the belief that the value of XRP will soar. So if you're interested in buying more XRP, please let me know in the comments. In your view, is XRP still a viable investment option? The loser coin, what does it mean to you? However, are you truly excited about what's to come and determined to hold on to this? Our video comes to a close now. Subscribing to my channel would mean the world to me. Until next time.